I'll put, I'll put my cards on the table. I, in an absolute microcosm of the three of you, when I left Sky two and a half years ago, it absolutely skittled me. Properly, properly skittled me. And my, even thinking back now, my Twitter handle was at Sky Sports Alex P and my parents got pissed off with me and would sort of call me Sky Sports Alex Payne because I'd grown too big for my boots. My wife sort of, you know, it, it was absolutely 100% my identity was linked to the place of my work. And I properly went through the depths before finding Mike and Hask and ending up doing a fairly shambolic podcast and seeing the light and a whole lot of other things. But I just, I mean, Hask, for you, you have, and we've spoken about this, you have been going round the roundabout, getting fa- going faster and faster and faster, wondering what the hell the exit is that you're meant to be taking. And I just wondered where you're at with that. And if you are, you know, we talk about tools. Ben is talking about the tools to help you survive a crash like that. Where are you at with it? Yeah, so I think it's, it's really interesting. I mean, firstly, you know, I feel really equipped. It doesn't matter. I, don't, I, don't, I still have bad days and good days. And you, you know, both you and Mike are, are brilliant at it. And, you know, look, we all go through stuff. And I'm an eternally positive person and very good at compartmentalizing. I do get stresses on, at times, you know, when it comes overwhelming. And then if you're busy, you know, I, I always equate it very much like a shark. If a shark stops swimming, it dies. And from what Sen Sally, what Ben's done and what I've done is very similar. Because if you don't stop, yeah. then you don't have to ever focus on your emotions. You never have to go, there's no reflection. If I keep working, keep going, I never have to sit around. Unfortunately, with lockdown, lockdown, it, it's put a break on everything. And you do sit down. I've sat in this very chair and Chloe was sitting in the kitchen. And I sat down, I turned to her and I was like, what the fuck am I doing? And she was like, what do you mean? I said, well, what the f- actual fuck am I doing? Like, all my work stuff stopped. All the stuff, you know, I'm doing this, what are you doing? And because and she's brilliant, we sat down, we got a piece of paper out, it's as simple as that. And because I got, you know, because I can switch in and out those modes, just by putting down things that I was interested in, the good, the bad, the rugby, my autobiography, things I enjoyed, all of it around performing, it centred me and then I felt like I had some direction. But I also am having, and put my hand up, a crisis of identity. I, I, I struggle, you know, and I think this is what I know Ben's, you know, does a brilliant job. And I, and I commented on, on the weekend about his fantastic commentary. You know, he's fantastic on our, on, on our podcast. But there is a moment when the work doesn't come or whatever. And you, you understand that you, and look, you're going to Oxford to study. So you're upskilling yourself. So it's a different kind of vibe. But I sit here sometimes and go, I was a rugby player that I don't really remember doing, well, not because I've had two knocks there, but I don't really re- resonate with anymore. I do stuff that I sort of enjoy, but I, I'm known for something and I don't really have an identity. It's like, am I a DJ? Am I a podcaster? Am I an author? Am I a public speaker? Am I a TV presenter? And it's, it's very difficult. And when things are going well, you feel brilliant. When they're bad, you sort of, I do catch myself sitting down. And, and what I've, re- I've realised is that, a lot of what I do is keeping myself busy is, is to deflect from that. But actually, I'm lucky because all the things I do is I actually enjoy. And, and as long as I have some tasks to fulfill, I feel good. And if I enjoy the moments, and the one thing that I think that we never allow ourselves to do as sports people and very successful people, business people, everything else, is to actually have a minute for yourself. And, you know, because you're either running towards something that you really want to do or you're running away from something that you don't want to do you know, there isn't really a difference in between. You're sort of either got something you really like or you're trying to get away from something. And I, I realised that a lot of time I was trying to get away from things as opposed to running towards something that I was really passionate about. But now, every day, I sit down and I've started doing this new treatment stuff, actually, for another show. This, this bit revolutionary. And I, I sit there and I sort of do some breathing and I relax or I sit outside and I have a cigar or I make myself a coffee. And I just take in the moment in the silence 